Hello and welcome to Viewfinder. Challenge perception, redefine reality, and reshape the world around you with an instant camera. Viewfinder is a new single-player game offering gamers hours of interesting and fun experiences while uncovering the mysteries left behind. This game is developed by Sad Owl Studios and published by Thunderful Publishing. It is also an entry in Steam Next Fest where you can find the demo which is what we will be playing today. This game reminds me a bit, and it and apparently reminds other people because Steam is suggesting that it's similar to, games like Portal, uh, where you have kind of a, a first-person adventure that uh, has a weird, quirky, I don't know, sci-fi-ish um, aspect to it that uh, distorts reality in some way. The game will release on July 18th, 2023. So as you uh, as you watch this, if it's something you're interested in, uh, make sure you add it to your wish list and follow it on Steam so that you can be notified when it releases. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. I, um, I don't think we'll play through a super long amount of it. This will be a kind of a brief, um, a brief look, but uh, uh, I've kind of, I did one or two of these um, already this week, just a, a quick brief, feature into the demo. Um, but by all means, uh, take a look at the demo on Steam and try it out for yourself this week before Steam Next Fest ends. Right. We're in. Time to explore. All right, so we can WASD to move. Uh, you can sit in things. Chairs, obviously. Um, there's a radio over here. One can look on radio. Okay, and we have we have some notes here, some sticky notes. Let's see, you can build anything, yet you start to build a lab. There is no time like the present. We're coding pillows to watch the footage. Popcorn next, and I'm afraid the butter flavor is a work in progress. Okay. To think. All the wonders of the world can be dabbled with as long as you build the right space. Whether Hiraya wants to admit it or not, Mirren is truly brilliant. Now, how do I get out of here? All right. So, space to jump. It's sit here as well. Yep. I'm not going to. <laughs> what is this place? I've never seen this much overgrowth before. A little bit, it's, um... It's beautiful. Two-dimensional there on the wall, though, unless it's supposed to be a painting. Like the world. That's pretty cool. So we have this uh, area here in the middle. Whoa, you okay? Uh, your vitals look good. I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's some good news, at least. There must be a way to get back up there. So we can hold R to rewind. And you want to rewind, in this case, all the way back to that uh, V slash down arrow. Oh, you want that sick! Um, which allows us to rewind reality back to the point where we had a problem in the game. So it's kind of the game's way of like returning you to a safe save point, um, which is really, really time, you know, time warping, but also a really cool thing. Uh, ooh. It's hard not to just sit here and take in the view, the breeze, the sunlight. It feels real. And that's enough for me. Okay. And I want to just finish walking around before we go to that central uh, thing either. Which we may have just finished walking around. May have. Oh, no, here's another one. Hard to believe that we've all finally managed to come together. This assembled team of brilliant minds here to bring to life my vision, or rather, our vision. Mm -hmm. Now, to detail our first list of tasks, then I'll return to the party. Oh, I figured you were going to go on. Okay. Let's go back up here. 
Uh, can you shift or something to run? No. No, no run. Um, at least that I can tell. I didn't really look through the controls all that hard, but at least as far as I can tell. Now let's try crossing the bridge again. Different bridge this time. Yep, that worked. Uh, looks like uh, this What's is... What's an old photograph doing here? This, this is the party. It's an old photograph here. And this is the mechanic of the game. This is the real cool part of the game. So for this, you hold the photograph out in front of you, like this. And then you, with your right, with your right mouse, you do something with it. And then you left click, and it stays there. But when I say it stays there, I literally mean it stays did, there. Hang on, did you just shift reality? We enter the photograph. A teleporter. Which is super, super awesome. That's that's the uh, that's the the sort of catch of the game or the the something of the game. Like that's the key part of the game. But it's it's a really really cool thing. You all of a sudden just alter made it in one piece. reality. So we have another teleporter here, but this one needs to be powered. And so you can see that it's connected to this thing and whatever this pad is. And there's one light lit because of this uh, battery sitting on the pad. So we need to find a couple more batteries. Uh, and they're around here somewhere. Now let's see. We'll check and make sure I find everything. Here's one. Pick that up. Throw it down here. It's almost working. Looks like we need one more. Two lights. Uh, let's see. Examine. Uh, if, you, if you hit E when you have a book open like that, when it's handwriting, you can read it in more plain text in case you have a problem with reading the handwriting. Hiraya has finally agreed to let me paint her. I've convinced her to visit me in one of my favorite places, and even offered to brew her tea, she denied. At the very least, I'll now have something to show her whenever she doubts herself. She's everything I see in her and more. I'm glad she's here. I wonder what her favorite flower is. Okay, we could sit there in the beanbag chair. Nice. And okay, okay. Nako, you know I cannot stand these types of activities. Hiraya, my love, please hold still. What do I even do with my hands? Just relax them and try to smile. A portrait in a digital landscape. Tell me, <laughs> is this technically traditional or digital? <laughs> Enough questions. Stop moving. Smile. Okay, so we can uh, put this one out as we did the other one. And let's do it right like that, maybe. My sort of personal goal is to try and make them line up well with the thing. So we literally took a picture of the picture here and um, made it into another version of reality where we can grab the battery that the picture was that was in the picture and bring it out into this well other done. reality and use it which is completely insane too and so uh, let's see what do we have anything around besides the picture on the on the easel mm, doesn't look like it and if you fall off, by the way, the game notices you're falling and tells you to rewind to your back on again. So again, autosave kind of functionality. Uh, it, it just rewinds your, your reality back. Pick that up. And it's upside down, but you can use your mouse wheel to rotate it to be right side up. And so we'll do that, and then we'll place it. And you can see, as soon as I placed it, that the, the uh, snow on the teleporter became animated. And by the way, if we come off perspective-wise, you can see that what was the photograph there with the background and everything is just a background pasted out in space there a little bit. And uh, the photograph doesn't really show... doesn't The reality that was the photograph doesn't contain anything more than what was in the photograph. So because it was at that angle... We only get to see, we only get what was visible effectively in there, plus the whole background. But what was effectively in there? Uh, here's another photograph. Is that the only thing we have? I mean, obviously we have we need uh, one. It looks like one battery here because there's one light. Uh, so we can go here, uh, E, and then this one is skewed a little bit weird, but it has the. Uh, uh, let's go maybe like that. Um, yeah, that's close. But you can see that one is kind of a weird off off angle thing yeah you can kick over things um you can see that i'm also shaking the table by kicking it or by bumping against it 
Maybe I can knock some stuff over, like those flowers. The coffee cups went. There go the flowers. The whole table will go, too, actually, looks like. I can even kick one of these chairs off the edge of the map. But, that's fine. Uh, pick that up. Bring it back and throw it onto the pad. And it charges up our teleporter. Alright, so now we're back into color. I, I, I wouldn't say reality, because it doesn't seem to be a reality, but it's color. Uh, rather than the black and white. Um, somehow we need to be able to cross over to there. I'm guessing there's a photograph here. There's a photograph. It's set in that chair, of course. You can kick this table too, I assume. No, actually it's not moving. Okay, I'm just kind of looking around to see what else is out here. Looks like nothing. But this is a photograph of a bridge. So we should be able to place it there. Follow the gray brick road. <laughs> and make it into a bridge to help us cross over to this area here. Nice. Another uh, photograph here. Tea time was a success. I'd consider coating better tea leaves. Mm-hmm. Um, this opens the door. And you can actually hit F here uh, to align the photo sort of vertically a little, like with, with the reality, to make it as smooth of a transition as possible. It's still not quite perfect, but it is pretty smooth then uh, and that gave us this I guess I should have pushed it out just a little bit more but it actually cut that closed doorway that we had and I'll show you what that was again just to just to back it up here just to show you it, we, we couldn't pass through uh, it actually um, cuts it so that we can uh, so that we can pass through it replaces that door that closed gate with this open doorway which is pretty creepy awesome. Ooh, rubber ducky. That's not something we can use, apparently. Solar panels. Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. Oh, climb up there. Ah, here's another logograph. I need, I need to understand. This place, beautiful as it is, carries so much weight. There is promise here. Promise of a future we can surely achieve. Even now, I'm striving to reach heights I never thought possible. All that I hope is that, that everything we do here continues to have meaning out there as well. For our sake. For Mirren's sake. And yes, you can use that in that way to get <laughs> to use it as a ramp and I suppose we could even go inside of it if we really had positioned it right let's teleport once more sit of course nothing to do here nothing to do here I guess we need to get over there somehow alright around we go Examine. Uh, I've been working on a series of paintings, one to represent each of us. It's a great way to document history. Hiraya has been rather shy about it, and Mirin has avoided the conversation altogether. I have to look to Chi Luang to, for support. Chi, uh, Chi Leung? Leung, I guess. He promised to help, but only if I beat him in Mahjong, which is entirely unfair. Hopefully, with the help of a cute kitty, I might be able to cheat. Sometimes being a little devious is okay, especially if it's for the greater good. Like art. All right. Here is nothing else. Pick up this photo. So can we use this photo to get to that? This photo is a photograph of the photograph in the photograph. Yeah, that was seems redundant, but it actually wasn't. So much so that we could actually place it exactly on top of right there and get 
the same exact, almost exact same reality. I, I, I flubbed it a little bit, but you can kind of get it and you can get the photo again and again and again because it's a photograph of the photograph of the photograph that it's in. Uh, so we probably, uh, we have the ability to rotate this. Um, we want to also make sure that we don't destroy, don't place it to a place where it destroys the teleporter like this because it destroys the teleporter. So we need to back up till we're here and then we can try to place it again. Uh, I think I'll just go maybe, maybe up like this more and then we can take another copy of the photo and we can go out this doorway here more maybe push it more that way again just watching out to to not destroy the um the teleporter but the game will stop us if we do so we're okay uh, let's keep going maybe even pull it back like this Ooh, can i get it that far yet not yet okay we're almost there so you can kind of use this to puzzle piece the whole uh, game together, which is a really cool effect too, because you can use the same, you're using the same photograph over and over and over again. Stop messing with the teleporter. Uh-huh. But we're actually going to end this demo here. Um, this demo playthrough here, I don't want to spoil the whole demo for you. If you would like to um, try it out yourself, um, since it is a puzzle game and since this was only meant to be a, a brief look, we'll leave this here and you all can uh, give it a try for yourself if you'd like and keep an eye out for the game to release uh, once again on July 18th on Steam and uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, I, th you know, it's kind of a kind of a crazy weird space time warpy game and uh, is really uh, a unique take on uh, on a game, I think. I, I don't know that I've even heard of anything quite like it. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Also, make sure you check out the rest of Steam Next Fest and all the rest of my coverage that I've done throughout the last uh, several days. Uh, we have one more day left after this one, so um, tune in tomorrow for that, and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled content. Um, so thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.